All right, so <laughs> I just recorded half of a really good video about nothing and it may have served its purpose anyway. So I'll explain in a second because my sound wasn't on. Now my sound is on, critical step. Always check the sound when you're gonna record a video. So anyway, I recorded a video which I called, well, I, I partially recorded this video because there was no sound, but I called this video laxative. All right, laxative, my video laxative, all right? And the reason why I made that video was because I was having trouble talking raw to the camera. I noticed the video that came out yesterday, it just, I didn't feel good about it. It's so weird. Let me tell you something. Let me sidetrack for a minute here because we're just we're just talking today, okay? It's, uh, there's no topic here. This is literally just talking. And like I said, the reason for just talking like this is because I, I literally need a laxative in order to get my voice out on the camera so I can get back to the state that I want to be in. So what I was going to say about this, when I, my, my little side trail here, is this, is that it's so weird because I was thinking about this the other day and and you're gonna think this is weird and you're gonna, I know you might comment down below and be like, John, you know, whatever, and try to give me some advice. I get it, like I already know, so. <laughs> but I'm just gonna tell you it, okay? Sometimes, what's funny, again, I'm gonna side trail and I'll come back to this one. Sometimes, like, I tell you guys stuff that I already know, right? And then you leave a comment telling me the obvious thing. And it's like, I'm almost like, should I even say this? Because if I say this, people are gonna misinterpret this. They're gonna think I don't know the answer to this. And they're gonna, they're gonna comment on this, right? Especially when I get all the Jesus comments. I get it, but I did a video on that. So if you wanna see religion, my video on religion, you, you can check it out, okay? So anyway, <laughs> with that said, here's the thing, all right? Which is this, when you've been making videos for 12 years, Pretty much 12 years. Uh, you know, pretty close to daily videos for like six years or so, somewhere around that. Like, you know, pretty close to that, like just really making videos where videos, making YouTube videos has in a large part been your life and your identity. When you walk places and people are like, hey, that's Bulldog Mindset, I watch your YouTube videos, right? And you look at the stats of YouTube videos every day. You sort of get into a place, okay, where literally how you feel about yourself <laughs> okay, for that day, is how good did you feel that the video you created that you just recorded was? Now, I don't mean, I don't mean like how many views did it get? I don't, I don't, I'm not even talking about after it's published. I'm talking about literally when I've turned on this camera and I have talked to this camera and I have made the video, right? The content of what I have said from my mouth. How do I feel about that? And if I don't feel like I nailed that or that it was pretty damn good, I feel crap the rest of the day, <laughs> all right? Now, it's not all the time and you know, and yes, and I can talk myself out of it, but there's this underlying feeling of crap that I haven't done my job, that, that just makes me not feel good. <laughs> okay, I can't describe it any other way. And yes, I know, like I said, the comments are gonna come and, and people are gonna say, oh, you shouldn't put your worth into your videos. And look, it's not about that. I already know that, okay? It's not about that. It's just about like, it, and it's not even about like, are the videos good, okay? It's, it's about, did I authentically connect with the camera when I talk? Because if I don't, I feel like I did something wrong and I was fake and it doesn't sit well with me, okay? And so, you know, and I'll give this video like an eight. I'm feeling pretty good at this point because I'm just talking to the camera. And that was what I was worried about. I literally have been procrastinating all day, not just today, but probably the last couple days on making a video because the last video that I recorded, I think I recorded one yesterday in my car, which is today's or yesterday's video. It just, ugh, like it was about the anime land and stuff and, the, and it's fine, like the point was fine, but I didn't really have something good to say. Right, and you could tell, you could tell from the video, but I decided to publish it anyway because, hey, it, this, I, this is, I want this to be part of the process and I want to be able to see and feel the difference. But, you know, but, but it is a thing, it is a thing. It is a thing that, you know, and like I said, it's not about the views, it's not about even if people like the video, right? Because it's about, I already know when I turn on the camera and I start talking, how am I gonna feel about this video afterwards? And sometimes I can salvage it, sometimes, I can re-record the video or sometimes I can save it mid-video and like this video might have been saved mid-video. I might say that at the very beginning of it, I wasn't quite feeling it, right? In fact, when I first turned on the camera, when I didn't even have my audio on, I definitely wasn't feeling it and that's why I made the video. Coming back to that, now that we can circle around. So literally I made a video 
just a few minutes ago that had no sound and I had to stop it. And I was literally talking about how I was feeling on, inauthentic on camera for the last couple of days or so. And I needed to make a laxative video to get that back, like a video laxative. I literally was, the plan of making that video was just to talk, just to talk naturally and to tell you about the fact that I feel this way because that was the only way to move past this because that's the only way to be authentic, right? If I am pretending like I feel okay making the video and I'm not telling you, hey, you know, th there's a problem. Like the last video I made, I felt like it felt kind of fake. It didn't feel like I was really there and connecting with the camera and I was really meaning what I was saying. I was just making a video, okay? If I don't tell you that and I keep on trying to make videos, I'll keep on doing that because my truth has to come out on the video. Otherwise it doesn't count. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't get past that. And that's something that I've realized. And so that's, that's what I'm doing right now with this video. So I don't know if this is valuable to you. I don't know. Like I, I feel like it is. I feel like at least you can see the difference in that. And maybe you can translate this to your life. I don't know if you can, honestly. Like, I mean, if you make videos, YouTube videos, you could probably connect with people with that uh, better, all right? Which just, I just, I just rem remembered too, by the way, what my plan with this video was or where I was gonna take this, this second take on this video. So uh, let me tell you my plan. Let me tell you my plan. Let me, let me see if this makes sense to you because I kind of side trailed off of this, but this was the main point I was making. I said, look, here's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm making these raw videos, all right? And I'm making them daily, all right? And a lot of you guys, I mean, if you're watching right now, you're the one who likes this video, so thank you. All right, uh, but a lot of you guys are, are liking these videos <clears throat> because they're raw, because they're authentic and, and they don't need the editing. However, what if I started editing these videos now? You know, I, I don't, and, and the reason why I'm saying me editing, I haven't edited my own videos in a very long time, right? But what I'm thinking about doing is taking these raw videos, right? And maybe just starting with one or two of them and just how would I edit the video? I'm, I'm talking how I would talk, okay? I'm making the video how I would actually communicate to you that's raw and authentic, right? But what if I were to edit the video? What, how could I bring my authentic view of the video and, and my interpretation of it to you to make it even more, feel even more authentic or raw? That's, at least that's what I'm thinking. Right, plus I think it would be fun, and plus I'd have full creative control over everything. You know, I've worked with a lot of editors in the past, and a lot of them are really, really good, but they just, they can't be in my mind, okay? <laughs> they, they can't really see the vision that I have, and sometimes, like, their vision is, is cool, right? And I'm like, oh, well, okay, that's something I didn't think, I didn't see it this way, and that's, that's great, but it's still not my vision. It's still not my exact voice in there, and so I'm thinking that maybe, you know, I, I don't really want to edit videos and I'll tell you why I don't want to edit videos because it takes a long time, okay? It, it takes a long time, but it is part of the creative process. I mean, what music do I select on the video if I put some music behind the video, right? How do I make transitions if I want to make transitions, if I want to show some imagery on the screen, what do I show you, right? This is all decisions that I would make uh, that I don't think anyone else can make for me. So, I don't know, that's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that and then we'll see where it goes from, from here, you know? And, and there's some people, I know some of you guys are worried like, well, John, what about your Well That Never Runs Dry program and Bulldog Mindset membership and all of these things? And, and look, it's not like I'm gonna stop doing these things, okay? I'm not, I'm not gonna stop doing coaching. You don't have to worry you know, about, about these things. I'm not losing my mind, okay? Uh, but I am trying to be in a more authentic place and seeing where that takes me, right? And, um, and it, it's not something that, I've really done a lot of. I, I've planned out a lot of my life and I've planned out a lot of things here. And so, I mean, we're, we're both gonna find out where this goes, I, I guess, right? <laughs> All of us will find this out and, and see what happens. But, you know, I, I'm still gonna do those other things. It's just that, you know, it, like, I don't wanna say that they're taking a second seat to this, but they have to take a second seat to me, to me personally, right? And so what I mean by that is that, yeah, you have a job, you do your job, okay? Uh, you know, now for this, this is a little bit more than a job for me because you know this is this is me, right? But you probably understand that you uh, your job is not you. I hope it's not you, right? And so right now, some of these other things that I'm doing uh, sometimes they feel more like a job, which is fine. <clears throat> Just like you have a job, I have a job. That's fine, okay? But what I'm trying to do with the videos here on these daily videos is I want it to be me, 
and I want it to be bigger than that, and I want to see where that goes. And at some point in the future, if what grows from this uh, becomes the thing and it envelops everything, I think that would be good. It could happen in multiple ways, right? One way that it could happen is that the well that never runs dry, like teaching financial freedom, that just disappears. The membership, it disappears or completely morphs, and I have this new thing that is a, a transformational, you know, course or program or guided, uh, you know, system that that you work with me with or, or or something along that 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 could happen. Okay, another way that it could happen is that the existing stuff, like the well that never runs dry, teaching financial freedom, that could end up becoming something that I I'm, I feel more authenticity as I bring it you know, to, to that, right? Because I don't care about the outcome anymore, right? Right now, sometimes I get on, on some of the coaching calls and it's not like I'm not giving good advice. It's just that I feel sometimes like, uh, like I need to make sure that I'm delivering enough value here because people have paid for this thing. And that is true. You should deliver value. And, you know, and arguably I do deliver the value, but sometimes I feel like my, my motive, right? The way that I'm coming across is coming from that place instead of the place of, I'm just here to have a good time and just share what I know and just help people, right? And so I try to get back to that. And so what I'm hoping, uh, you know, again, that, that it, even in the interim that these videos will do is we'll bridge that gap again, right? Because if I can just talk raw to the camera and I don't care about the outcome, like I don't care, this video is pretty long at this point. I, it went through my head, I said, okay, you know, maybe I should wrap this up. But then I said, I don't care, right? And, and then I said, well, you're kind of going off onto multiple topics. I also don't care, right? Because that's not the point. The point of this video is for me to talk to the camera and to, to exercise that and to become better at that, okay? <clears throat> and to really connect with those of you guys that enjoy that and understand that and can get some value, even just from seeing this happen, right? And seeing the difference. Because again, like I said, I think this carries outside of YouTube. I think if you really think about connecting with people, maybe some of you are talking to regular people like I can talk to the camera when I'm being fake and you're putting on a mask. And maybe if you could learn how to be raw in front of a camera, you could be raw in front of a person and, and maybe that would be valuable to you, right? So, you know, again, <laughs> it's a little sidetrack here, but where I'm going with all of this, okay, is, is essentially, you know, I, I think that all of these the, these things can come together and, and we'll, we'll find out what the answer is, right? And like I said, I don't know what the answer is um, <clears throat> at this point, but I do believe that by, by really pursuing this path of authenticity and trying to sort of spread this out, that that is going to create the new organism, right? So yeah, you know, I, I've got some areas where it's gonna feel a little bit clunky and there's sort of a mix of these two worlds. Some things still feel inauthentic, right? Some of the marketing, right? I'm, I'm doing Instagram posts and stuff like that and some of those Instagram posts are not necessarily coming from like the depth of my soul, <laughs> all right? They're, they're coming across not directly from me just talking to the camera, which is fine, okay? And some of the marketing messages there and some of the stuff that I have to conduct in, in terms of business is, is not necessarily has that depth to it. But I think over time that it will, if I nurture this this plant, this animal right here, if that makes sense to you. So I know this is a lot of just kind of all over the place, but like I said, this video was not for you to hear, okay? So you, you listened to the end, and I, I think I warned you at the beginning, maybe I did it on the one where it was muted and you couldn't hear anything, but, but this was just video laxative for me. This was just for me to make a video to just be as natural as possible on camera, which means not caring about it, which is, it, it's a very much like just literally talking to yourself out loud. <laughs> like literally when you have walked around your house and have talked to yourself out loud when there's no one around, that is the equivalent, right? And it is not an easy skill to develop in front of a camera. So, uh, you know, we'll see. It's, it's I, I, I do feel though that that is the skill to develop and that is the one that is the most valuable one on YouTube. It, I thought it was the production and, and all this stuff. And look, hey, the lighting's pretty good here. You know, I, I've got a pretty good shot. I've got a good camera. You know, it, it looks good. I've got the bulldog mindset. Did you did you catch that, by the way? I'm sure that's the first thing you saw when you turned on this video. But I got the, the neon sign going on over there. And so, 
yeah, there doesn't need to be a lot more than that. Like I said, I'll, I'll work on the editing uh, because I think I'll enjoy that and maybe I can enhance it. And if it doesn't work out and the editing I feel like is detracting instead of enhancing, then I will just put these videos out unedited. So I'll see you tomorrow.